In case you want to see the end of this problem, let's go through and finish it up. Okay, so we knew that the mass was 0.8 kilograms. That should have been given in the problem. That is just something that we would know. Okay, then we're going to plug in our radius here. We are told in the problem that we have a radius of 0.5 meters. We're going to divide that by our period squared, which is simply 1 second. So 1 second squared, that will equal our normal force. Again, that's what we're trying to solve for, minus our mass times gravity, so 0.8 kg times 9.8 meters per second squared. Now essentially what we would see here is that our force normal is simply going to be our centripetal force plus our force of gravity. When we come down and solve for it, we end up with a normal force equaling 23.63 newtons. Now, tomorrow in class, we're going to take a look at what happens and what's different when we're at the top of the circle. So that would be a situation where it looks like this. Top of circle. Going to be coming into the top. The cup is going to be upside down with the water inside of it. It's going to be headed that way. So think about what the free body diagram might look like in this case. Think about which way our centripetal force will be pointing. Center, of course. And what would be positive, what would be negative, and how that affects the normal force. Like I said, we'll talk about that tomorrow. We're going to do a few demos, make sure we solidify some of this information. But it's important to get a basic understanding today. Please email me if you have questions, and I will see you tomorrow with the answers to those five questions uh, all set and ready to go. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.